Hey, what's going on guys, Signal here. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make the new yarn shockwave effect that he used for the first time today. So I'm very, very quick, very speedy. Uh, so yeah, the effect is quite easy to make and I'm going to be showing you how to do it in After Effects and Vegas Pro. Uh, the After Effects settings can be copied directly over to Premiere, so it is very, very easy to do it from there. Uh, yeah, you've just seen it, so let's get right into the Vegas Pro version. There will be no webcam on the actual tutorial part, uh, except I recorded that before and it just didn't fucking work. Uh, so yeah, let's get right into it. Uh, so just go, in, go into your video effects tab and search for BCC Ripple. Uh, just go and drag it onto your clip. I just have mine like that. And uh, you're going to go ahead and copy these settings. Uh, once you've copied all of this, just go and pause the video. Just go and keyframe the radius and the inside radius. Then go 30 frames in. Uh, and set the radius to 1200 and the inside radius to 1150. Uh, once you've done that, you can just go ahead and play it back. And as you can see, we, we have the uh, the shock effect. It's very, very, very easy and it doesn't take you too long at all. Uh, granted that I have already added my velocity and my impact, of course. Uh, so do keep that in mind. But yeah, uh, let's move on to After Effects. All right, I am now in After Effects and I have imported my clip. Uh, what you're gonna wanna do is just add an adjustment layer. Uh, obviously add your impact to this before you get started with the ripple. Uh, I'm just not gonna be doing that today because I don't really have that many impacts I can use on uh, After Effects. Uh, so yeah, just go ahead and go to the character, just go into your effects and presets tab, or just go to where the uh, the impact happens essentially. Go to effects and presets tab, search for BCC ripple. Uh, I'm just going to drag that on to the thing and uh, just pray for it not to crash. Uh, now just go ahead and move the uh, the center point to just the uh, the middle here like that. Uh, now go ahead and change the inside radius to 150. And if you just go and click off, it should look something like that. Uh, now just go ahead and keyframe or just change the height to like 100 roughly and the width to 100 as well. So it should be a bit more of a uh, a thick boy, essentially. Uh, and I'm just going to keyframe the inside radius and the radius and go 30 frames forward. So we're gonna go here, and now we're gonna set the radius to 1,200, and we're going to set the inside radius to 1,150. Uh, and now, as you can see, if we go ahead and just play it back, we'll have the sort of ripple effect right there uh obviously if you want to get rid of these like uh the fall off you can just go ahead and remove that like entirely almost like that and now you'll just have one big sort of ripple effect uh but yeah let's move on to premiere pro all right fuck premiere i can't get it to work peace